guys, I'm waiting for the Arch Cabin delivery. Should be here any minute. He gave me a phone call, said he was 20 minutes out, so we're just waiting here at a gas station. you guys our arch cabin it was delivered the other day but i haven't showed you the pieces so that's what i want to do today all right so this is the ridge the ribs of the arch cabin that'll go up and make the arch for both sides they're about 22 feet long and at the peak it'll be about 17 feet like this this right here is the the top ridge beam so each of those ribs one will come in on this side and one will go on this side uh, when it's when it's hoisted up and these right here are the left and right footers and this will be on the subfloor, so you can see the L shape right here. So this will sit over the subfloor and it'll be bolted down. And we'll take one of those ribs and we'll put it in and attach it right here. And then it'll go into uh, one of these sides, depending on which one we're attaching. And that'll be about 17 feet up in the air. This right here is the fireplace thimble. So you can see it's pretty, pretty sturdy, pretty hard metal. And it's got the uh, L channel beam so it, it can fit into the uh, it can be secured. I'm sitting on our six rolls of insulation. It's actually a solar guard and it is a R25 insulation. And the way this goes on is on the outside of the rib, we'll put the insulation on and then we'll put our side paneling over the top of the insulation and bolt down the metal siding and that will insulate the cabin. I wanna show you the paneling of our house. These right here are 41 feet long and three feet wide and they're a forest green color. And this is the siding and the roof of our house. Since it's an arch cabin, it's gonna go up the side, up to the top or the peak of the arch and back on down to the other side, completely enclosing the sides of the house. I laid out two of the ribs to give a perspective of what the cabin's gonna look like. It's a 30 foot wide cabin by 40 foot long. And so this is about 30 feet from this end to that. And this is what the arch looks like you know, kind of without everything being hooked up, but it's 17 feet uh, from the tape measure to that peak and uh, 30 feet wide. So you can kind of get an idea what it will look like. So we just finished unloading the arch cabin and we wanted to introduce ourselves to you. My name is Matt. And I am Brenda. And we are Chasing Freedom Homestead. We also want to talk about why we purchased the arch cabin versus a barnuminium or a log home. The first reason is affordability. So the price of the arch cabin, including delivery from Austin, Texas, was just under $33,000. When we looked at building a barn dominium, we were going to use the perfect block, use that on the side walls, and then we were going to buy the trusses and put on the top. And when we priced out the trusses, it was $32,000 just for the trusses and not including the perfect block, which would have been another like $16,000 to had it shipped up from Arizona. So we went with the arch cabin. Now we had researched the arch cabin and we liked the design, it was never off the table, but with the way that uh, economy is and the prices, we just decided to go with the arch cabin. One of the pros about um, us purchasing this arch cabin is we have the option to design the floor plan on how we would like to. We don't have to have a builder uh, design it, so it just gives us a lot of options to do what we would like. So the floor plan is a 30 by 40, so it's 1200 square feet on the bottom, and we have the option to build a second story as long as it doesn't go over a thousand feet. The third pro is that it's a metal framed building, which means it can withstand forest fires since we live in the Pacific Northwest and we're prone to having forest fires. 
Do we feel a little bit more comfortable having a metal building versus a wooden framed or a log cabin? The fourth pro is financing. You do have financing options to purchase the arch cabins. The fifth pro, in my opinion, is that it's a family owned business. The business has been around since 2006. It's well established. So when we reach out to them and have questions, they're very responsive and very helpful. Okay, now we wanna talk about some of the cons. All right, and well, the first con that we'd like to talk to you about is the floor plans. Uh, we give, get the option of designing our own floor plan. They do not give you a staple plan. You do have to go and search for your own. So there are the options of going like to Pinterest or Googling it, um, and you may find it on YouTube. The second con is that because it's a metal building, it's practically a Faraday cage, meaning our cell reception inside the building isn't probably gonna be very good. So we have considered some options uh, with our cell cellular carrier about getting like a Wi-Fi boost or something like that or uh, a booster. And we do have Starlink so we can set our dish outside and our internet should be fine. But that is one of, one of the considerations that we thought about when we purchased this building. The third con is the financing option. So when we purchased our building, they didn't have financing at that time, meaning you had to pay 50% down and then 50% two weeks before delivery. Now they are working with a third vendor where they allow financing. And the fourth con is the arch cabin does not come with windows. You do have the option of putting in a 22 inch window. If you're wanting bigger windows, or like a build a bump out, that would have to go through a structural engineer. Yeah, so the side of the building, that side panel is 41 feet long and you can't put in the window, so you'll have to cut the siding. And as long as you're not doing like a big bump out, then you're, you can put in a 22 inch window, um, like every other rib or every rib if you want to, because it's 24 inches on center with a 22 inch window in the side of the ribs. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments below. And we look forward to answering them.